Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. It's been a whole year since I set up this ultra low tech fishbowl aquascape. Over the past year, the scapes ended up maturing really nicely. I'm really surprised by how much plant growth I actually had in this fishbowl aquascape. In the setup, I'm not using any CO2 or fertilizers. Also, I'm not using a filter, so there's no flow around the fishbowl. Most planted setups rely on fertilizers to keep the plants growing, but somehow the plants in this fishbowl managed to grow really well. It just goes to show you don't need a high tech setup to grow plants. All you need is a good substrate and some good lighting too. And also a good amount of maintenance will keep the setup all nice and balanced. Now that I mentioned maintenance, I think it's time to give this fishbowl a good clean. We're going to start off by siphoning out some of the water from the fishbowl. This week I'm aiming to do about a 50% water change. I want to see if larger water changes actually help to reduce algae in this fishbowl. In theory, when we do a water change, we're removing any excess nutrients in the water column. Since there will be less nutrients available, it means the algae won't have a chance to grow. Now it's time to clean the glass of the fishbowl. To do this, I'm going to use a toothbrush. The toothbrush is a little bit flexible, so it allows me to clean around the curves of the glass. Because the glass is curved, it can kind of distort what you're looking at when you're looking into the fishbowl. This makes it a little bit difficult when you're trying to clean algae off the glass. So sometimes I end up missing spots and have to go back and clean them later on. Cleaning the glass is always the longest part of the maintenance for me. It always takes just a little bit of extra time to make sure there's no algae left on the glass completely. But all that hard work really pays off in the end. It just makes the whole aquascape look a lot nicer to look at. I'm just going to place some rags around the bottom of the fishbowl to catch any drips when I'm refilling the bowl. This week we're not trimming the plants. We're just going to fill the bowl back up with fresh clean water. I'll tell you in a bit why we're not going to be trimming the plants. When topping up the water in the fishbowl, this will dilute any nutrients that are left in the water column. This is why doing water change can help to reduce algae issues in your aquarium. So if you see algae starting to build up in your aquarium, start doing some water changes, it might actually help the problem. Always remember to clean the glass of your fishbowl. You want to make sure you have an amazing little view into your aquascape. That's all the maintenance done now. I mentioned earlier in the video that I wasn't trimming the plants today. That's because next week I'm going to be tearing down this fishbowl aquascape. I think it's time for a little bit of a refresh on this fishbowl. The plants have grown as much as they can in this kind of setup. This has resulted in the substrate using up all its nutrients. This is kind of slowing down the growth of the hair grass and the hydrocotyl tripartia. Hopefully with this rescape I'm planning I can kind of reduce all the little algae issues I've been having. I'm planning on using faster growing plants so they can use up the nutrients that are in the water column quicker. By using faster growing plants in the aquascape it should help to keep the algae at bay. The plants will outcompete the algae for nutrients and that means if there's no nutrients for the algae it can't grow. Over the past year I learned so much about keeping this ultra low tech setup. It does require a little bit more work but overall I think it's really worth it. You can see the plants have really matured since they've been planted over a year ago. I even now have a small colony of yellow shrimp, along with a ton of baby guppies too. I'm really excited to show you guys this new scape. Keep your eyes on the channel, I'll be posting that rescape video pretty soon. Finally to end the video, I got some extra footage of me feeding some Daphne to my guppies. 